Many of us at one time or another have taken part in a census. It provides valuable social information to local, provincial and federal governments. Another type of census is taking place here in Alberta, which is rather unique. It's a combined effort between the Royal Alberta Museum, the provincial government, the universities of Alberta and Calgary. It may look like tedious work, but these technicians are pretty passionate when it comes to understanding our biodiversity. And so these technicians went to over 220 sites this summer. They collected samples and right now they're going through those samples and they're breaking them down into genera and species, identifying what they can and packaging the rest of it up. The Alberta Biodiversity Monitoring Institute, or ABMI, will visit 1,650 sites across Alberta to gather data on animals, plants and lichens. This information will provide a kind of baseline about our biodiversity. You manage what you measure. Before ABMI, Alberta didn't have a cohesive biodiversity management program. They had lots of different companies, different scientific programs, which are kind of working in a patchwork fashion, but nothing that could be integrated and compared across the province. So that's really what ABMI is striving to do. As our population and natural resource development continues to expand the results of collecting, all this data should be able to assist industry and government with valuable information on the potential impact new developments may have on our habitat. Our role is to kind of take those samples from the field and turn and give them names, really to do the taxonomy. And then once they have names, then the scientists at the uh, Science Center at the University of Alberta, they analyze those data and they can tell us which species are increasing in sites with more human activity, which species are decreasing. They can actually look at the landscape as it exists today and start to infer some of those patterns. They really have kind of a privileged job in that they're going to places where almost no humans probably have set foot before. And in other instances, they're, you know, right downtown Calgary or <laughs> in somebody's backyard, yeah. It is a systematic grid that goes across the province and where that point lands, that is where the technicians go. Part of the collection these technicians are sifting through on this day are samples of various forms of lichens, which can be used to determine the health of a habitat. It's quite amazing to see the various forms these take and some even have the ability to glow in the dark. Invertebrates from our wetlands form another important link in Alberta's biomass. In another lab at the University of Alberta, these technicians are pulling out small creatures that can provide clues to the impact we're having on various wetlands across the province. In the last 15 to 20 years, we've realized that they do form an important part of the, the overall ecosystem and um, they provide us services like water purification and habitat for other animals and things like that. We're moving towards, you know, better practices as far as logging and things like that. So we've brought the, the wetlands into the forefront over the past 20 years. You know, land use managers and companies are realizing the importance of the wetlands and they're starting to change their practices as far as, you know, how they create a clear cut and where they put the roads and things like that. Over this collection season, 209 sites were visited, resulting in more than 60,000 individual aquatic invertebrates being sorted out. It seems no two wetlands are the same. So some of the far northern wetlands, they'll have, I guess, a better mix of, you know, mayflies and dragonflies and damselflies. Down south, you tend to get a lot more planktonic organisms. So the teeny little zooplankton, daphnia and copiopods, 